iCloud has come a long way in the last several years. Uh, I can remember when it was really frustrating just to get files synced properly. Now iCloud is definitely a viable solution for sharing or syncing or backing up. And so I wanna show you how to manage your iCloud storage space, whether it be adding some more space, um, freeing up some space if you don't have much room and you wanna keep it that way, and checking your family sharing settings and making sure you don't have apps out there that are just eating away at your space without you knowing it. So let's take a look. So where do we go to manage iCloud storage settings? Well, as you might imagine, you go to the settings app. I'm using iPadOS here. Uh, it's gonna be the same thing for iPhone. You're just gonna tap on the settings app and let's start there. So when you go into your settings, you're going to see probably your name at the top, unless you, for some odd reason, chose someone else's name, which would be weird. And uh, you're gonna see Apple ID, iCloud, and so on. Tap on iCloud, and then you are going to tap on Manage Storage. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is check on our family sharing settings here. So you wanna you want to go in and check that right away and say, okay, uh, if I'm running out of storage, what's going on with my family usage here? Um, so either A, it says start family sharing, which means you don't have that turned on, or like mine here, it shows family usage. And this tells you how much space is being used for family iCloud storage. And so you can tap this and go in here and see who's using how much space. So that's the first thing. Just check your family sharing settings because uh, it might be that you're using up some space there with some of your family members and you don't realize it. All right, next you want to delete unneeded backups. And so um, what you do that is you're going to, in the same screen, you see it says backups there underneath photos. So tap on backups and that will take you into the backup section here to show you how many devices you have backed up. Now it could be that you've got an older device that you no longer use. You may have even sold it to somebody on eBay and it's gone and you still have a backup with a few gigs of data there. So you can delete these backups from this screen. So you just tap on the backup that you want to delete and then you would just tap from that point, delete backup. Now, of course, I'm not gonna do that here, but so that's the second thing. Check to see if there are any backups that you can delete at this point. All right, number three is check to see what kind of iCloud storage space your apps are using. And the number one that you wanna check is iCloud Photos. Uh, are you using iCloud Photos to sync up all, of the photo, all the photos that you take on your phone? If you are, you're using quite a bit of space. Now, if you're doing it on purpose, then great. But if you want to change that, you just scroll over in the settings all the way down to, uh, scroll down, I should say, all the way down to Photos and tap on Photos. And that will bring up all of your Photos options. And up at the top here, iCloud Photos should be turned off if you are not planning on using that. Now, if you're planning on using it, you're gonna need more than the free five gigabytes of space, and that's great, do it on purpose. But if this is on and you didn't realize it, you've been using quite a bit of space. And this could be the reason that you've, you've run out of room in iCloud, if that is the case. All right, so we'll go back to uh, the iCloud section here. And the other thing is you wanna check not just photos, but also see like what uh, other apps are using space in iCloud. And so one of the other ones you wanna check is um, messages, for example. If you tap on manage storage again and go look at messages, you will see there's quite a bit of space being used, probably. I mean, you can see mine is 9.8 gigabytes. And so if you tap into that, you can go in and delete uh, certain message threads with that, that have a lot of data. Now, I'm keeping all this. I have no reason to delete all this. But if you're really tied on space and that's an issue for you, this is another place you could save some room. And so you can delete any one of these. Just hit edit, and then you would just delete the one that you want to delete. Now, if you want to change your storage plan, of course, you just use this screen as well and tap on change storage plan. And it for you is either going to say, you know, upgrade storage. For me, it says downgrade because I have, you know, 
quite a bit of uh, space. Or I'm at the top. I have the two terabyte plan, which is ten dollars a month. Now mine just says you can downgrade, but basically the options are are right here. You've got um, you know five gigabytes for free. You've got fifty gigabytes for basically a dollar a month, and then two hundred gigabytes. If you start doing sharing with your family, you have to use uh, or you can use uh, two hundred gigabytes, and that one can be shared. Uh, most for most people, you know, 50 gigabytes is going to be fine for files, and for a lot of people, even photos will work. Uh, that can be enough, but um, there is nothing between 200 gigabytes and two terabytes. So it'd be nice if there was a one terabyte plan that Apple would offer there. All right, next we're going to take a look at how to do all of this in Mac OS. It's very similar, but I want to show that to you really quick. So how do you do this in Mac OS? Uh, really easy and you get a lot of the same options. You just go to System Preferences. So let's open that up. And you will see your name at the top. That's your Apple ID. And click on Apple ID, the preference pane there at the top. And then when we get in here, you're gonna see how much iCloud storage space you have, broken up by type. And then you're gonna click on Manage. And this shows you where all your storage space is going, similar to what we saw in iOS or iPad OS. And so you can scroll through here and you could actually delete iOS app data here. Uh, there's a lot you can do here. So, um, you know, if I wanted to delete all files for one of these, I could. And then you can also change your storage plan here like you could in iOS. Real simple. I won't walk through this again, but this shows you the same options you had when we looked at it in iOS and iPadOS. So if we go back to the main screen here, you can also click on Family Sharing to go in to change Family Sharing settings um, in this section here. And this will show you iCloud Storage, who's using what, and there's a number of different options you can uh, change here. So we won't get into all of those details at this point. So that's how you do it in Mac OS. Very similar, just using the system preferences pane there. If you like this video, you know, just tap the thumbs up right down below here. And uh, would love to see your comments as well. And feel free to subscribe if you want to see more where this came from. I do videos on life and productivity on the Apple platform, whether it be iOS or Mac OS. All right, we will see you next time.